Man, Jake left this filing cabinet unsecure. Let's see what we got here, huh? We got, oh, Enron files. Oh, hopefully the IRS doesn't see that. New World Order stuff. Uh, reptilian master plans. Ooh, this is definitely something we don't want to get out. Buddy's hit list. Um, Illuminati Ordnance Lab collaboration plans for faking it on how we fake all of the grenades and everything else that those damn Ordnance Lab truthers keep exposing on YouTube. And adult friend finder accounts. Oh, man. This is definitely something that Jake doesn't want to get out. We're going to have to go ahead and solve this problem here with a thermite grenade. Howdy folks, welcome to our episode of Ordnance Lab. I'm Sean and it's Fiery Friday again. We're back out here at Mo Muscle Cars and last time we were out here we nuked a, an engine with a thermite grenade and we showed that it doesn't always burn through all types of materials. So what we're going to do is, this is out of the comments section where someone asked about doing a file cabinet because at like embassies and other locations where they store sensitive items, my understanding is that they have thermite grenades there in the event the facilities being overrun or going to be captured or whatever for them to be able to destroy documentation quickly. Now this is a cheap filing cabinet that we went and got off Facebook. So this is not going to be an accurate simulation of what you would actually store in an embassy. There's a GSA standard for secure and sensitive items where it's much more sturdy than this right here. But hopefully it's going to be a cool video of us setting some stuff on fire. What we've done is we've put, there's four separate drawers here. We've put paper in there. We filled it up with it to simulate, hey, if there was some, something you actually really want to destroy, what we, we really want to see is how many levels it's going to go through, and hopefully it won't go all the way to the bottom and damage Blake's um, <laughs> concrete here like happened last time. Awkward moment. And so, all right, let's get started and burn in this thing. But before we do, let's make sure to thank our uh, sponsor Sportsman's Guide for making this video possible. None of this stuff happens for free. Please make sure to check out the comment section. There's going to be a link there for where if you patronize Sportsman's Guide, you'll be able to be helping us out and letting us bring more awesome videos. Now, let's get the fire started. Fire the hole. All right, so we've let it burn for a couple of minutes here and it looks like we're having a nice little barbecue going on in there. Um, we're not quite ready to open it up yet, but what we'll do is we'll let it burn down a little bit and we can see fire coming out of this part. So these documents here, I'm pretty sure are gonna be totally nuked, but looking at it, there may be some survivors in there where it may have just singed some parts of it. And my prediction from what it did is that we didn't get down all the way here to the bottom, uh, anywhere near it is gonna be my expectation. It probably got down to here, maybe to here, but the other documents below would have been probably, well, again, we're just assuming here we'll probably be okay, but we'll let it cook a little more, we'll see what happens. All right. So now it's been eight minutes since we set off the thermite grenade. Let's see what happens here, because we got the slag here on top of the container from the thermite grenade. It's been cooking in here, like I said, for eight minutes now. Let's see if this first row, how that looks. Oh, well, looks like that Jake's adult friend finder accounts, um, that information was not destroyed. Pulling this back, what we've got is just a whole bunch of the documents towards the rear, which were destroyed, but it doesn't look like that the thermite was able to set a big enough fire where it was able to come forward and destroy all the documents here on the first row of them. It's still smoldering in there, but the fire is not out, and, or it's out and pretty much, and it's not gonna be spreading to any more of those files. So let's see if it went down to the second one. 
Nope, all we've got right here is um, just a little bit of the documents being singed. So it looks like we can definitely say that a thermite grenade is not gonna be a reliable way of destroying all of the documents in a cabinet such as this. Remember this right here is just a crappy cabinet we got off of Facebook. There's literally zero security on here for things that the government actually uses as a government uh, services administration GSA standard for securing sensitive items to be classified top secret all of those things in a much sturdier safe than this that has a combination on there. And Jake was talking about that there's larger thermite grenades that they use typically for that, like an embassy where if they're being overrun or whatever, they need to destroy all those documents quickly that they would use for it. So if you have to get rid of a whole bunch of documents, unfortunately, you're not able to use one of the ALS thermite grenades for that, but it still does a whole bunch of interesting stuff. So thanks for watching. We want to make sure we thanks again to our, or say thanks again to our uh, sponsor, Sportsman's Guide. Please make sure to check out down in the comments section where there'll be a link and you can go in there, um, support them and support us at the same time. Thanks again to Blake, M Blake with here with Mo Muscle Cars for making it possible for us to come out here and set off thermite grenades and hopefully not screw up his um, concrete like last time. There'll be a link for uh, Blake's business there where you can go out there if you're into muscle cars. They got a whole bunch of really cool stuff. And, Let's get out of here before it starts smoking too much more. So, see y'all next time. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button, hit subscribe if you want to see more, and stay tuned for another episode here at Ordnance Lab.